Hello and welcome to another video here at Stanley Gibbons. I'm Oski Young, I work in the auction department and today I thought we'd talk about something that's rather overlooked and that is albums. When you're a new collector it can be very bewildering to be confronted with a huge shelf full of various different album types and ranges and a great deal of complicated terminology. So I thought in this video we'd briefly look through all the albums that we have here at Stanley Gibbons to help you in your journey as a new collector. For the purpose of this video, we're going to look at the blank albums, which are excellent albums if you're beginning a stamp collection. With pre-printed albums where there are allotted spaces for each of the stamps, they are more designed for more advanced collectors who know what they're going to collect, say if they're collecting a specific area or specific rain. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to look at the blank ones. Now, an excellent way to start a stamp collection, of course, accumulating lots of stamps, but of course, when you're accumulating lots of stamps, you need somewhere to put them. And this is where something like this comes in very handy. This is a stock book, which is essentially a bound book with interleaved pages. And upon the pages, which are made of nice cardboard, there are numerous strips, which are sort of a glycine paper, which act as little pockets for the stamp. So I shall just show you quite quickly. Of course, the benefit of this system is that you can put them in any way in which you like. You can put them in any order and system, either by sets or by rain. And again, it keeps the stamps all nice and protected when you place this over the top. And it's a very nice little system of keeping everything ordered. Now, stock books were originally used by dealers to transport their stocks around, but of course now they're very much used by collectors as well. And this is indeed how I store a lot of my stamps before they get mounted up. Of course, the main advantage is, is you get a lot of freedom. They are also fairly inexpensive compared to some of the other albums. One disadvantage is if you, say, didn't buy a very good quality version of one of these, we have found that through poor storage that the stamps can actually stick to either the glycine strip or the backing, particularly if they're mint. And of course, if the stamp gets stuck to the back of the paper, you are not going to get that off. So it's advisable by good quality, acid-free stock books, like the ones we sell here. So when you move on from a stock book, the next two albums, which are up in the range, are essentially these two here, which are, it's a slightly different system. It's known as a 22 ring system. And these two albums are called the Sandringham and the Kensington. The only slight difference is, is the Kensington is sort of a soft bound with Fox leather, and this one is, is hardbound. Now, the main difference between these is that they are in essentially empty albums. You don't get any strips with them. And you see these 22 rings here, and that is how this system works. So you have pages. So instead of stock pages like in this one, you have blank pages, or for example, you've got quadrilled pages, which makes writing up and positioning the mounts a lot easier. And the way you load these, it looks daunting, but it's actually quite easy. There are little tabs on either end, which you can press at the same time, and it releases them. And then you can line up the holes of the pages with the sort of pegs here, and line them up like that. And just to close it, you press them like that. So again, this is slightly above what a stock book is, and this is slightly more permanent as of course you have to take a lot more time to mount up and write up your collection either using hingeless mounts or good old fashioned stamp hinges. Now these are great all purpose binders and album ranges and indeed many collectors use them. The next album in our range is a little more traditional. It's an old favorite and it's been around for a long time in various different forms and names. This is the Stanley Gibbons Regent album, formerly known as the Senator and it's a firm favorite with collectors. So slightly different from the 22 ring and the stop, but is that it is spring bound. So there's a metal spring in the back, which you use to open it. And these albums have been around for a long time. And again, as I said, a firm favorite with collectors. And a lot of people look at these and think, how do you put pages in these? It does seem a little bit difficult, whereas these two are fairly easy to see. So what you do is with a spring back, you get this sort of interleaved part in the middle and you've got to take that out. So what you do is you put the um, album like this on its side and you press the spring back, not too hard, 
And you've got to be careful there because you can hurt your fingers if you let go too soon. And then you just bring it back like that, nice and safe. And then you get interleaf section like this and the pages, make sure they're all aligned. Now I will say that the 22 ring pages can be used for the Regent albums as well because it hides the holes so no one would ever know. You fold them in like this, make sure it's nice in the center and all knocked up correctly. And then you do the same routine again, you bring the album back, reminding of your fingers and then slowly bring it round. And there you go. All lovely and bound up like this. Again, this is a very traditional way of mounting up a collection. And they do look lovely when someone has spent a lot of time and written up their collection in one of these old Springback albums. And indeed, they are worthy of being a firm favorite. So there, the middling sort ranges. What's slightly above this in terms of collecting? Say if your tastes have become slightly different or you're a very advanced collector. Well, the next stage up would be something like this. This is the Stanley Gibbons Balmoral, formerly known as the Frank Goggin range. And these are traditional peg fitted albums. And these are handmade with leather, gold, gold embossing and gilt edged pages very, very luxurious. And the way you open these is slightly different from the others. You have, you have no rings, you have no spring, you have pegs. So there's a little lever at the front here and you just push that up and that releases the album. And you see these two pegs. And if anyone's familiar with our older albums, such as the Devons, the Plymouths and the Exeters, you'll know how to use this. But for purposes of the new ones, this is how you do it. And the pages for these are again gilt edged, linen hinged, so that they're easy to fold and they come in blank or quadrilled as with those. And to refill the album, you see the pegs and the holes here, you align them up nice and securely. You drop them in, put the protector page on the front and then you bring this over, aligning up the holes, making sure it's secure and then push down and you're ready to go. This album, again, is brilliant. It's such a luxurious album and I've seen many collections well presented in these. The great disadvantage of that album, as opposed to say the stock book and of course these three albums over here is that they are very expensive. And of course, when you see the, the workmanship that goes into these, it quite rightly deserves a very high price tag. For further embellishments, you can also get your name embossed upon here as well. And also they come in these rather nice little boxes and you can protect your albums again in there for when you're on the go or stamps on safari as it were and these albums here also come with slip cases but it's much easier to show you without the slip cases so there you go a very brief overview of all the album ranges here at stanley gibbons of course there are other albums out there in the world made by other manufacturers and indeed there are other albums that we produce as well maybe we'll include those in the future video if you will but for now Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more Standard Gibbons content.